Hello and welcome to the second edition of This is MSX. We continue the interesting show of games. Something um, really, should I say, shitty? Or maybe is it just per politically correct to say special? Some very uninspired games, um, Relics, Deep Forest, this is a square game, King's Knight, Final Zone, a Topple Sip, one is the MSX1 version, this is the MSX2 version. Um, I don't know, I get it, maybe just as a, as a collector, and not special games, and I think you don't need that. Really. The next games in line. And oh, starting by some masterpieces. This is King's Valley 1, a puzzle game. And this is King's Valley 2. This is simply awesome. Has superior graphics, great soundtrack, really great songs. This is absolutely worth a let's show. This is one of the finest of MSX ever. This is the Arctic Adventure, the very famous, very famous prequel to maybe the best game of a system. This is Penguin Adventure and this game is simply awesome. If you don't know it, this game is great. Simple and easy, just great. It's a must-have if you are an MSX collector. <laughs> Take some more. Ah, now we're talking business. This is Pipples. This is um, an interesting game. It's also uh, something like a jump and run, but it's a vertical uh, scroller. No, it's a horizontal scroller. Of course, it's not vertical, it's horizontal. Um, and you have some mazes in a, in a, in a forest. It's... childish. Is it, is it, maybe it's childish for presentation, I don't know. It's a little bit... Um, kids-friendly, I think. That's the right term. But it's a decent game. It's very deep and has a lot of uh, things you can do. This is worth a let's play, believe me. Users. Absolutely great puzzle jump and run game with a strange ending. But this game is really, 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 really good. This is one of the best of the MSX ever. This is just only the name have made you in new heights. This is Metal Gear 1. Great game. Besides Metal Gear 2 and Metal Gear Solid, this is the best of the whole series. Believe me. This is the Goonies. This is a puzzle game. A lot of people only know the second edition for the NES. This, I think there is a version of the NES of this game, but I don't know it. This is Road Fighter, maybe a prequel to F1 Spirit. Uh, this is the typical arcade racer, six stages, nothing really memorable. This is Qbert, a very good MSX transition. This is a very good Qbert game, very interesting, and you need Qbert also for any cartridge combination, believe me. This cartridge. Is pure gold. The good, the game is good, but you need it to uh, to enlarge a lot of games. Believe me. The next in the line. I know you're interested, and it's time. It's coming. This time, is it for real? Nemesis, Gradius, Salamander. Here it is. This is. An awesome game. I like it better than the NES version. 
this is maybe the pinnacle of a series Nemesis 2 or Gradius 2 is great great sound great looking great shooter this is awesome uh, the third installment is a little bit too too much adventure too much puzzle um, no, it's not really that good. This is Salamander, or better known as Lifeverse. This is the MSX version. Also a very decent game, but believe me, this is the best of all of the four. The next game. Oh, stop it. Not falling. Some are very expensive. The next installment. You ever heard of it? Track and Field Hypersports. I don't know why I get it with different names. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they released it in, in, in Germany, so I don't know. Maybe it's a European problem, but believe me, this game is Track and Field 1, this game is Track and Field 2. Uh, both games have four events. This is Hypersports 1, Hypersports 2, and Hypersports 3. Interesting in these all five games, uh, where is no swimming for the MSX. I don't know uh, why we skip it. So you need for the whole track and field and hypersports five cartridges. Never ever talk bad about Capcom, EA, Ubisoft or Activision. They did it in the 80s the same way. You have four events, four events, four events, three events and four events. So all about 8, 12, 15, 19 events on five games. You can imagine how pricey it was. But we are good. <laughs> if you are a fan of these games, of Decathlon, Summer Games or something else, get them. Now the next in the business. Ah, We end the line with greatness. This is Nightmare 1. This is the famous Maze of Gallius. Maze of Gallius may be the most famous, well-known MSX game till today, due to La Mulana or something else. Believe me, this puzzler is very good. It's on the same level as Zelda 1 and Zelda 2. It's good. It's really good. And this is a very good shooter. Believe it or not, this is part 1, this is part 2. So we did the same with Castlevania and Zelda. The first and the second installment are very, very different, uh, but these are really different. And here is it. The Castlevania for the MSX Vampire Killer. The hard mode, if you prefer it. This is F1 Spirit. This is an awesome racer, 8-bit top quality, and this is the famous Game Master. If you are a fan of Konami games, if you are an MSX collector, you have to get it. So. What was it? I hope you enjoyed all the well, all the movies, of course, all the both of the movies, all the two movies. <laughs> this isn't a real sequel, I think. This isn't. So I hope you had a lot of fun. So see you next week with another edition, maybe some serious, some other systems. Uh, I don't know. You will be surprised. Have a nice day.